Hey guys, I am back with a dumpster dive haul to share with you today. Um, wanted to start out by saying Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. <laughs> um, hope everybody has a good day. Celebrate as you will. Um, I'm gonna celebrate by dumpster diving on my way to work. Anyways, um, I have a few things, nothing major, but some good stuff here. This um, I have been collecting along the same time that I found the stuff in my last video, just a little sneak peek peak video. Um, some of this, like these popcorns, I've had in my car since last Tuesday, so over a week, but I just didn't find anything else to like put in a video with them. So slowly but surely, I've gotten some good stuff over the week, and I'm excited to show you. So we will start back here with the popcorn. I have one, two, three, four, five packs of the little individual. Four of them are, oh wait, three of them are regular. And two of them are white cheddar. I'm excited about that. I only thought one was white cheddar. I love white cheddar popcorn. Um, and they're like the little individually wrapped bags. So there's nine in each case. So th that's a good find. Those are good snacks. I'll keep some of those. Right here I have two, um, what is this? Two quarts each, 64 fluid ounces of grapefruit juice. I love grapefruits, um, but I'm not going to be keeping those. I will donate that. And then a pack of dried Philippine mangoes. Over here I have a thing of Epsom salt. Um, I thought maybe there would be a hole in this, but it doesn't appear there is. And it's still sealed, so that's nice. A good find. I can smell it though, so I'm, I don't know. We'll see. It smells good though. Um, this is some Colgate toothpaste, just a little one. I won't be using that, unfortunately, but my boyfriend will, so I'll keep that for him. I have two Hershey's Cookies and Creams. There were some more of these, but they just kept falling and wasn't worth the hassle. So I got two of those. And then a pile of Twix here. Left and right Twix. That's important. So there's quite a few of those. Um, so I have quite a few candies that I'm going to give out today to people for Valentine's Day. So that's fun. And then these actually I found in the same dumpster that I showed you in my little sneak peek video. It's a set of measuring spoons. If you can see, it was $7 marked down to $4.97. The thing is, there's this one has a chip, but like the little scoop itself is still fine, so I'd still be able to measure. And I think that's it. I don't think it's missing any. It has a fourth, a half, one, and then one tablespoon. I think that's all it came with, so that's a good find. Those are cute. I thought they were Ray Dunn, but they're not. I don't think. I mean, it doesn't say Ray Dunn anywhere, but it doesn't matter to me. I have two bags of mandarin oranges. This one we have gotten into and started eating. And now that I look at it, there's one squished. So that will get thrown out. But so far they have been delicious. And I'm assuming it's the same with this one. Yep, there's one. No, is that? No, that's not even a... Who knows why this was thrown out. But they'll definitely be eaten. I will have some of those today. And then I have this little bag of oranges. It was ripped open. Maybe somebody stole one. Um... Yeah, they're nice and firm. Definitely use those as well. Maybe make some juice. Right here I have a bag of the tricolored potatoes. There were tons of these in there. I only took one because I don't eat potatoes that often. But these are just too cute. <laughs> and, you know, put them on the pan, season them up, and they'll be delicious. Next to that I have this Tasteful Selection Maple Bourbon Mini Sweet Potatoes. Um, I actually found two more of these, but those ones looked a little worse for wear. These ones, I mean, I'll have to open them up and see, but I think they look okay. Like, there's no mold or anything, so we'll have to see. Kind of hard to tell in the packaging, but, I mean, if they're bad, I'll just throw them back out. I have some ciabatta sandwich rolls. I usually wouldn't take this, but, I don't know, it just sounded kind of good, so I took them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. If anybody has any, like ideas on how I could make something delicious with these, let me know, because I'm just not quite sure. And then next to that I have a bag of green beans, which I will gladly eat as well. Behind there, um, actually, in this same dumpster there were two packs of bagels, and I haven't had a bagel in forever. Um, I was going to take them, but they were um, pumpkin spice flavored. And that just didn't really appeal to me. So I left those. I'm assuming somebody else took them. So hopefully. Anyways, I have two of these snack mixes. The M&M Sweet and Salty. This is the peanut M&M's and one regular M&M's. A little bit, a little um, Famous Amos cookie pack. Some Pecan Sandies. 
a thing of Chex Mix, and then a whole pile of the Just the Basics Party Mix. That's like the store brand Chex Mix. These are really tasty. I might keep one. We'll see. Some jalapeno Chex Mix. One, two, three, four bags of Kit Kats. And they have the little individual ones inside of it. And then this big bag of Baby Ruth Crunch Butterfingers assorted candy as well. And then I have a bag of the York Peppermint Patties right next to that. And two Hostess um, Berries and Cream Danishes. I think there were actually a ton more of these as well, but same thing, they kept falling, so I didn't bother. And the last snacky thing is this Brookside Whole Almond with Milk Chocolate. So that actually sounds pretty good, but I will not be keeping that. So most of this stuff will get donated. And then right here, pumped about this, just a nice box of brown bananas. These will all get chopped up and frozen, and then I will make smoothies with them. I love smoothies. I'm actually in the market for a new blender. Mine just decided to stop working, my Nutribullet. So I'm hoping to find one. I have yet to find a blender in my diving ex escapades, but um, I don't know, maybe now's my chance. So if not, I'll just buy another one, obviously, but I've been using my food processor. This guy's super cute. Um, he's seen better days, but he is actually, okay, let's see. Can you see that? He was marked down to $0. He's kind of coming off there, but he is frozen solid. Can you hear that? It's frozen solid because it had rained and then frozen, and um, he was, you know, in the wetness. Um, so I'm going to leave him here, let him thaw out, and hopefully he will be uh, fine. Maybe I'll put him in the dryer so he doesn't mold, but I think he's cute. I'll use him for next Christmas. And then back here I have this one fake little plant. I have this little bird. I'm not sure why this was thrown out. Um, I mean, he has a little bit of peeling back here, I guess, but he's just fine. His beak is still there. Yeah, I mean, he's cute. I think I'm going to put him in my new uh, dresser from my last video. So he's cute. And then his friends over here, how many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of these little geometric birds. These are from the dollar store. Um, they came in their case, so I didn't know what they were until I got them home and opened them. Obviously, there were quite a few that were broken, maybe eight. Maybe it was a case of 20. Um, but these were not broken. I actually want to do eventually, not anytime soon, really, um, like a dumpster dive mystery box unboxing, because a lot of times I do find sealed shipping cases, um, and then I'll open them and take out what's inside. But I just don't have storage to keep, like, the boxes right now. So eventually when I move, and I do have, like, a basement or a garage or something, I will do that. I think that'd be a fun video. And then last but not least, I have some plants. I have three succulents. This one is a little dead, but I think I can bring him back to life. I liked it because it had the silver bottom, and these two both have the gold bottom. Um, they're alive, so just got to keep them that way. <laughs> and then this cool plant right here, what kind of plant is that? Um, Sansevieria? Is that what it's called? I'm not sure, but I really like that one. I do not have any plants like this in my house at the moment. Um, I have some aloe, some cactuses, some orchids, so that's a nice addition. Um, and yeah, that is it for this haul. I'll give you a quick more, one more quick overview. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway, I think, come 5,000 subscribers, so I'm getting pretty close. And as always, thanks for watching. All right, so quick interjection here at the end. I just opened my fridge to put some stuff away. I got some other dumpster stuff in here that you'll see. But anyways, I forgot to take some stuff out that I found to show you. So one of them is this pack of sweet corn right here. I'll cook that up. I find corn all the time in the dumpster. I've never had an issue with it. This little pack of salsa still has the little sealy flap thing right there, so that's nice. Love salsa. Um, back here, sorry, this is bad film. That's okay. This is a beef smoked sausage. So they have it like on little kebabs. I think that's a great idea. Or in stir fry. Um, I might do that. So there is that one there. I have two things of eggs. This top one, um, I'll put it right here, only has seven in it. And the bottom one has all 12. So 19 eggs. 
And if you could see, the date on them is March 17th. So obviously they were just thrown out because there were some broken ones. And then down here, I can't even get them out. Two giant things of chicken drumsticks. They were marked down to half price. The date is the 13th. And yesterday was the 13th when I found them. Um, it's been cold here, so they are just fine. And they look still just fine. So I will cook those up and eat those as well. So that is the official end of my video. Thank you for watching.